Hi everyone, it's Rochelle Tenhoff here again. Thank you so much for joining us all day today as we have celebrated World Duchenne Awareness Day and we have participated in the virtual Walk to Defeat Duchenne 2020 across Canada. We have a whole variety of walkers, not only in Canada, but also in the States. We've had some friends in Australia. We've had some friends shout out to us from Spain and from India. Uh, so it really does go to show about the global movement uh, of the Walk to Defeat Duchenne and World Duchenne Awareness Day on September 7th. So we're starting to just go live here. I see some uh, viewers starting to join us. So welcome, it is five o'clock. And for those that are new to the Walk to Defeat Duchenne, uh, this year we're obviously going virtual because of the pandemic and making sure that everyone is safe uh, in their hometowns and their communities across Canada and participating the way that they would like to participate. Uh, so we have the Founders Challenge where we have people walking 33 kilometers today and leading up to today uh, in honor of John and Jesse Davidson who walked across Ontario 33 kilometers a day in 1995 for over 200 days. You would have seen us with John earlier on this morning as we went with him and he shared about the uh, history of Jesse's journey and about the 1995 walk and it was very, very inspirational. We then met with our director, our executive director, Perry Essler, uh, later on this afternoon as him and his wife participated in the Founders Challenge and they were just about done their 33 kilometers. Uh, so here this afternoon, again, you have me, you have Rochelle. Uh, I'm part of the Jesse's Journey team. We're a very small team uh, here in Canada, just five of us uh, working towards the mission to defeat Duchenne. So I see a few more people are joining us online. Welcome. Uh, this time tonight is really just a live broadcast for you, our Duchenne community. Uh, so I encourage you to join the conversation right now with me online. Uh, and uh, you can do that by commenting. Um, oh, we have a couple people that are having a, a couple difficulties connecting with us today, but I do see a few viewers online right now. Uh, so if you are viewing, I encourage you to join the broadcast and share your experience. Um, as we uh, have people that uh, are viewing, this is brand new to me <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, inviting people to broadcast. Uh, normally it's just live streaming. I've had a volunteer, Lauren, with me all day today and Lauren has been fantastic in the background helping me to do these live streams. Uh, and then this afternoon we're, we're just hoping for people to come online and to share your experience living with Duchenne. So I have clicked the live broadcast. Uh, so I believe now viewers, you can request to join uh, the broadcast. And uh, if you do request to join, I'm more than happy to invite you onto the stream and you can share your experience living with Duchenne. Uh, you don't have to uh, you know, join the broadcast. You don't have to share if you don't want to. Uh, this is just an open time for us across Canada and beyond uh, to come online and share our experience living with Duchenne. Um, so I see a couple of people that have joined. Thank you so much. I'm going to invite the Kings. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, this is, it is tricky. <laughs> It is tricky to do a live broadcast when you're doing it on your own. And like I said, I've had Lauren all day today really helping me uh, with uh, the live broadcast. So it's been a little bit easier to manage. Um, so I'm just going to see here. How can I get these people to join the broadcast? It says allow your viewers to request. And it looks like I have been able to do that. Uh, and I see a few people joining us online. I see a few eyes up here that have joined. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining this afternoon's broadcast as we go across Canada. I see a few viewers. And I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty trying to get everyone to, to join us online. This is our first time doing it here at Jesse's Journey, so uh, we'll just be a little bit patient and we'll try to get everyone up here. Okay, you know what? I might actually try to do this. Instead of doing it from my phone today, 
I might try to jump on my computer and we'll try this again. We'll try to see if everyone can join us on this live broadcast uh, and we can get some other voices other than my own uh, joining us here across Canada to talk about life with Duchenne, living with Duchenne and what the walk to defeat Duchenne means to you. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, oh, the Kings are here. I saw your comment here. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think it's really just you and I right now. Oh, I see another viewer, but they keep popping back on and off. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure anyone is here wanting to, to talk to us today. Um, it just, uh, if, you, if you want to join our broadcast, you can absolutely do so. Um, there's a little button probably on your screen that says join broadcast, and then I'll be able to add you uh, to come online with your camera and with your audio and talk to us this afternoon. I see um, Alice, you're watching. Thank you so much to the King family for joining us again this afternoon. We'll just give a little bit more time for people to join us online and hopefully we can broadcast a couple of people and uh, to share their experience living with Duchenne. And so as a guest, as a viewer of this broadcast, you can ask to join the broadcast and I am more than happy to uh, accept that and uh, get you to join. Uh, so I do have a couple viewers. Oh, perfect. I have somebody, Chris, who wants to join. Chris, you are added to the broadcast. That might just take a couple of moments here. Love technology. <laughs> we might not be able to be in person this, but we're trying our best to connect with each other across Canada. Hi, Chris. Hi. Nice to meet you virtually. <laughs> and who do you have with you? This is Jackson. Hi, Jackson. How are you? Good. Good. Did you have a good day? Get lots of walking in. Awesome. I see that you're wearing your t-shirt like me. <gasps> so cool. Yeah, <laughs> you got your walk t-shirt on. I need to use this. This is big. Oh, it's a little bit big, is it? Okay, next year we'll send you a smaller size. <laughs> I'm a thick size. <laughs> okay. That is good to know. So you're you're a little bit smaller than my size. And we're from Team Jackson, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Jackson, how old are you? Six years old? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining the walk this year. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Thank you. And is it Team Jackson's first year with the Jesse's Journey Walk? Yes, he was diagnosed in April, so. Okay. And can you and can you tell me a little bit about that, Chris? What was it like for your family being diagnosed in April? Heartbreaking. Right? It's it's a struggle. Um he's a happy go lucky kid and I get electric scooter. <laughs> You're getting an electric scooter. That's awesome. No, I have it already. Oh, you have it. Did you use it today? Mm-hmm. Cool. But we, uh, we have some great doctors here up in Chio. That's where we are right now. He's at a hotel for his appointment tomorrow, and he's on uh, the Vimolarone trial, and it's been going well. So Good. How long have you been on the trial? Uh, about... Two and a half months now. Two and a half months. <laughs> and are, you guys are from the Ottawa area? No, Bel between Kingston and Belleville. Okay. Kingston and Belleville. <laughs> awesome. So just a couple hours away from me. I'm a little bit south. I'm in London, Ontario. Yeah. That's a little ways away. Okay. And so tell us, Chris, how, how, what are some of the signs and symptoms that you first noticed? It was really the school, the school, you know, we always had trouble with Jackson being able to keep up with us walking and, you know, always being tired and things like that. It was really the school that pushed us 
to take him to the family doctor. We thought he was always just small and delayed at walking and things like that. But uh, once we took him to the family doctor and they got the ball rolling, they kind of referred us to our general hospital. And our general hospital kind of leaned towards muscular dystrophy and they referred us to CHEO in Ottawa. And that's when we really found out more and more about it. Hmm. That's good that everyone was able to connect the dots and get you to see a specialist quite quickly. Definitely. Especially during a pandemic. You were di you know, diagnosed, you found out in, a in April. Yeah. So it's it's been interesting, right? We kind of, we were given the heads up in February from CHEO that they're, they're suspecting of that. And it was just waiting on the genetic testing to come back and everything. And mm-hmm. But it's definitely been more of a challenge with a pandemic going on and, you know, social distancing and things like that. But we have an amazing support group. I'm also part of the Tanaga Fire Department. So we've done fundraisers there with Phil the Boot and things like that to raise awareness and funds. And That's amazing. Wow. So already starting to, you know, fundraise and, you know, donate towards research and you know, that's, that's amazing that you guys have, have done that so quickly in a matter of months during a pandemic. Yes, it's, it's been quite amazing. And my wife's not here. She's at home right now, but she's been a huge part of it too. And Wow. Well, we thank you so much uh, from all of us at Jesse's Journey for, for joining the mission to defeat Duchenne and certainly joining the walk for your first year. It's so <laughs> nice to meet you guys. I wish Thanks. we could maybe seen each other in, in person. Maybe next year. Hey, Jackson, maybe next year. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for having us on. Thank you, guys. And stay safe. And I hope everything goes well tomorrow for your visit at Chio. Say bye. Bye. No, like, wait. Cat, cat. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thanks so much, Chris. We'll see you soon. Oh, wonderful. So that was Chris from Jackson's Fighters team. It was so fantastic to have them on. Uh, a brand new team to the Walk to Defeat Duchenne this year. And as you heard, Jackson, six years old, diagnosed in April, uh, which, I, you know, my heart goes out to your family, Chris, diagnosed, uh, you know, not that long ago and also navigating the Duchenne journey during a pandemic. Uh, so our hearts are, are with you from Jesse's journey. And I see that we might have another person here. So I'm just going to add... I think it might be our director of research and advocacy, Nicola Worsfold, who is uh, hopefully going to join us in a second. Let's see. What? Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but we finally got on. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad you're joining us now. <laughs> Awesome. And Nicola, do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, Nicola Worsfold here. We're Team Worsfold in Toronto. Um, Owen Worsfold, who's over there. Say hi, Owen. Can you... <laughs> I don't know if you can see Owen over there. <laughs> um, so our son, Owen. And... In front of the signs. Yes. Oh, yes. We have signs. Sorry. Ed's telling me we have to show our signs. See our lovely signs? <laughs> Amazing. I love them. Camera. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is my husband, Ed Worsfold. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Ed. Hi. <laughs> so we just completed our walk. We did 18.1 kilometers today. Wow. Uh, we've, got our, we've got, so we, we had a, a team of people that were able to join us, which was fantastic because we didn't expect to have such a, um, a gathering of folks. And so we have a few others here that are here that are still with us. Amazing. <laughs> and the work. rain the rain held up for you guys in toronto it did it did it actually was the perfect day for walking because it was overcast it was nice and breezy and it was lovely and when we got out to the point it was actually kind of almost cold and then oh. we got back in again it got warm again so uh very good no thunderstorms we thought we might see some but we were lucky not to amazing and nicola uh, we just had a, a brand new family to the walk uh, join us online a minute ago, Jackson's awesome. Fighters and uh, Chris, his dad, 
they're actually in Ottawa. They're going to CHEO tomorrow for uh, one of their clinical trial uh, appointments. And it's their first year with the walk. They were diagnosed in April. And uh, he told us a little bit about what life has been during a pandemic navigating yeah. the Duchenne journey. Can you tell us a little bit about your family and why you walk and why you're involved with Jesse's journey? Absolutely. Yeah. So our son, Owen, who has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, is 13. And right over here, playing with his puppy at the moment. <laughs> you can see him right here. <laughs> Um, so Owen was diagnosed seven years ago. Um, so we're based in, in Toronto, um, and um, we we have been involved with Jesse's journey probably most recently. Uh, we started an organization called Stand for Duchenne about five years ago, um, and uh, advocating for access to treatments. And um, I think I would say more more recently, um, you know, I've had conversations with Perry, um, our executive director, and made a decision to join the team at Jesse's Journey to um, to really focus on making sure that um, you know we are investing in the best research, uh, and most importantly, the you know the research is important, but um, without access to these treatments. Um, it's mute, right? So, um, you know, we're focused on investing in the best research, but also getting access for boys. And that's our big thing. Um, also advocating for access to clinical trials as well. It's a big part of what we do and a big part of what I'm doing with Jesse's Journey. So uh, I'm thrilled to be part of like a, a wonderful team, including yourself, Rochelle, who have just been very dedicated team uh, to, to um, you know, really working hard to ensure that we support our families. So it's been a great experience for me, um, not only um, as a, a staff member of Jesse's journey, but also as, as a Duchenne mom as well. So, Absolutely. And we're so happy to have you as part of the team, Nicola, and you bring so much uh, life to the team and experience. And I'm so happy that you're able to be online with us right now. So for those that are joining, uh, it's Rochelle from Jesse's journey. And we also have Nicola uh, from Jesse's journey. And Nicola's just talking about her walk today and why she walks <laughs> to be Duchenne. And it's on behalf of her son, Owen. Uh, Nicola, can you take us back to the time when Owen was first diagnosed? Uh, yeah. What were those signs and symptoms? How did you know? Well, we didn't really know. I mean, we didn't expect this at all. Um, so Owen was always a large, tall child and kind of klutzy. And we always sort of thought he was klutzy because he was big. <laughs> he was a big boy. Um, and, um, you know, one thing led to another and we discovered that he had Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It completely turned our lives upside down. Like we did not expect, um, you know, this at all. And, um, you know, Owen's also a, a spontaneous mutation. So we had no family history. We don't, I'm not a carrier of the Duchenne mutation. Um, so we really had no knowledge about the disease and the condition and the, you know, what, what we were sort of embarking on in the future. So um, as you can imagine, it, it just completely, you know, turned, turned our lives upside down. Um, and I would say for the first few years, it's, it was very difficult um, for us as a family, just trying to adjust to our new reality of what we had to deal with. And, you know, clinic appointments, um, uh, we immediately got Owen involved in a clinical trial. We were very fortunate to find a clinical trial that he could get himself into. Um, and of course, embarked on that whole world. And we had to travel to the United States for his trial. So, um, you know, it's, you know, it's a big commitment, obviously. And, um, a big drain on our family. We had grandparents, everyone kind of pitched in to help us get there and make sure that Owen was, we, we had to go every week. Um, and now Owen is in another clinical trial, which is in London, Ontario now. So not nearly as far, it's about a two hour drive, but still a, a big commitment. Um, but really this is the only way that we can get access to the treatments that uh, we hope will, will help Owen. Um, and, um, you know, part of, you know, what I'm doing too is to make sure that we can get clinical trials into Canada um, and have as many opportunities as we can for as many boys as we can because it's so important. Um, but, um, yeah, it, the first, I would say the first few years, it's, it's, it's almost like a big cloud. Like people always ask me, you know, what did you do back then? And, you know, what happened then? And I, sometimes I just don't even remember because it's just one big blur. <laughs> You're just kind of going to survival mode. <laughs> of, okay, like this is our new reality. Let's like figure this out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. 
Yeah. And we, I was talking with the King family earlier, um, who are the walk ambassadors for this year. And uh, Steve, uh, you know, Dylan's dad said very, very similar remarks as you. Uh, and, you know, in terms of it, it really does flip your world upside down. And it, but he was talking about the glass being half full. And, you know, it, so what if you, you didn't, things didn't work out the, the way that you imagine them to, it's different and that's okay. And it's just playing yeah. the strength of the individual and of, you know, your son and, you know, finding new and interesting to, to do together, um, which I think is, is so amazing. He was talking about him and Dylan, you know, learning astrology together and astronomy and, you know, going swimming and all these amazing things. So if you're just joining us right now on this live stream broadcast, thank you so much for joining us. It is World Duchenne Awareness Day. It's nearing the end of our day. Uh, here in Canada as we come together for the 2020 virtual walk to defeat Duchenne. I see a whole bunch of people. Hi, everyone that have joined <laughs> Nicola. Uh, Nicola is part of our team at Jesse's Journey here, and she's in Toronto with a whole bunch of amazing supporters behind her uh, who have walked 18 kilometers today uh, on their walk. I see a whole bunch of people online uh, liking uh, you know, comment, share the broadcast today. Right now, we're just, you know, hoping to to join as many families. We heard from a, a team earlier in, in near Ottawa, and then we have Nicola. If you are living with Duchenne, if your family's living with Duchenne, join us online right now, and we'll add you to the broadcast. Uh, you know, we have a couple yeah. of comments here. Rochelle, so we have, um, so we had our cousins walking for us in Australia, which is amazing. And they finished their walk yesterday because obviously they're on a different time zone than we are. Um, but we also have the Watt family and I believe they're online and they are walking for us in Atlantic. So I don't know if you're able to live stream them, but I believe she's online. It would be great to hear from them as well. Perfect. If, and what you can do, if you're online right now and you want to join our broadcast, just ask for us to add you to the broadcast stream and then I will be notified and I'm more than happy to add you to the broadcast. Uh, I see a couple of people are, are watching us right now. Oh, I have an amazing comment saying the world's, the world's worlds are amazing. Send them love from the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> from go Alice. Let's, let's go Watts. Go Watts. <laughs> That's awesome. I see, uh, oh, the Denisic family. Oh, Alice wants to be in our video. Let's add her on here. Um, okay, Nicola, I'm going to have to say goodbye to bring Alice on, okay? Hi. All right, talk to you soon. See you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's get Alice online here. And we had Carla. She says hi to everyone. Uh, talking about her son. Hi, Alice. Hi. hi. I'm here with, uh, with Connor. Hello. Hi, Connor. And Hello. Hi, and Connor is one of our best Hi. friends. Oh, amazing. So you know Nicola. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we, we know the whole family. Connor and Owen are born just one week apart. Amazing. Well, I'm sure she's thrilled to have your support today. Did you guys walk? We walked yesterday, and uh, we have the other half of our walk to do later on. Awesome. How, how long are you walking? Uh, yesterday we did about 4K and then we'll do another four. Fantastic. fantastic. And I hope the, the weather is decent. The weather has been fantastic out here. Yeah, it's been beautiful, you know, not too hot and, uh, and a gorgeous day to walk through our new neighborhood. We're new to the East Coast. And so we, we've used it as a, uh, a way in which to explore our neighborhood. Awesome. Where, where are you guys exactly on the East Coast? Uh, we're in Bedford, just outside of Halifax. Okay, awesome. And you know what? It's just the power of social media that we have people join us from the East Coast, the West Coast, from Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, the States, and Australia. You know, it's been so awesome to see everyone in the world join us today. Yeah, well, we're happy to join, and we're big. Uh, well, we're, we're very, very close with the Worstfolds, but we're also big uh, advocates for the Duchesne community. And, you know, it's been a learning uh, experience for us. And um, we certainly love uh, the Worstfolds very much, but also love and feel uh, so strongly about all the all the families affected by Duchesne. And it's a learning journey for, I think, all of us. But, uh, you know, we send our support uh, in any way that's ever needed. So if anybody's watching from out east, make sure you get in touch. You can... You can get in touch through Jesse's journey. We'd love to be part of your uh, your crew out here. 
Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that message. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the Duchenne community today? Connor? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> no. Like a 13 year old might say, uh, no, we're, you know, we're blessed to be part of, uh, part of this crew. Awesome. And we have a message from Sydney. She says, hi, Chris Watson. We love you too. Aww. We love them back. We would love them back. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you so much for joining us, Alice. Thank you. You're hosting a beautiful event. Oh, thanks. Hello. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Are you able to? I don't know how to make myself go away. Oh, I think I can. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gotta love technology, everyone, as we kind of navigate through this together. If you're just joining us again, it's Rochelle from Jesse's Journey as we uh, begin to conclude World Duchenne Awareness Day here in Canada. And uh, for those that are walking across the country as part of the virtual walk to defeat Duchenne, uh, you'll see the link in the bottom of our bio there. Uh, walk to defeat .com. If you have not yet, uh, you know, please support us. Please make a donation. Every donation goes towards funding vital research for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. You heard Nicola talk a little bit about that earlier and how vital that is to fund the finding of treatments and also a cure for this fatal uh, disease. So please, if you have not done so yet, go to walk to defeat .com. You can donate to one of these amazing participants or one of these awesome families or teams or just to the event as a whole in support of Jesse's journey. Uh, so walk to defeat .com. So I know there's a couple other viewers online. If anybody else wants to jump online and broadcast with me before we uh, close this family broadcast, we've had Toronto, we had family in Ottawa, then we had the family in the East Coast. So I absolutely love that we're showing, uh, you know, Canadian uh, representation across the board. And I'll just give it a couple more minutes if anybody else would like to join us. Uh, I see the Denisic family is online uh, from Saskatchewan. So welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We'll just give a couple more minutes just in case anybody would like to, I'll add Nancy here. Let's bring Nancy on. So for those that are just joining us, it's just a live broadcast with friends and supporters of Jesse's journey and the Duchenne community across Canada. If anybody else would like to join us this afternoon, um, by all means, uh, I might just jump back to, to Nicola for a second if she wants to conclude by saying any remarks. So I'm just calling her and seeing if she wants to join the conversation. Oh, she might be enjoying her party with all of her friends and rightfully so <laughs> 18k in a day that's a that's a big feat so i'm sure she's oh. Oh, here we go. Yes. <laughs> probably so going Sam, to hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we're about to close off our our family broadcast this afternoon as part of world duchenne awareness day and the virtual walk to defeat duchenne i just wanted to turn it back over to you if you have any other messages you'd like to share to families and supporters across Canada and beyond. Yeah, um, for sure. And I guess, um, you know, to everybody, first of all, thank you to everybody who's participated in this event. Um, I think it's been a great success. We've had some really great support. Um, you know, we've had families, friends that have really supported, uh, but also it's knowing. Oh, yes. I just, I just, sorry. I just reminded us that we also have a Kingston following too. So we have a group that's team Owen W out of Kingston um, that also walked today. Um, so um, yeah, thank you. A big thank you to, to all the Warsfolds that have participated, but also to all the families across the country. I know there've been many uh, families that have participated from coast to coast. Um, and, you know, just to let everyone know that, um, you know, we're here. We're here to support all the families, um, regardless of where you are in your journey, whether you're newly diagnosed or you've been on this journey for some time. Um, you know, we all we all get it. We've all been on this journey for some time and we're here to support one another. And so I hope that, um, you know, events like this moving forward as well will help to bring our community closer together. Um, and, um, you know, I think it, you know, from coast to coast and across the country, it's, it's really important. Um, I think knowing that we have, um, 
you know, family, friends, um, but also fellow Duchenne families um, that are here to support one another is so important. And the support is really important. It's what keeps us going every day. So thank you to everybody. And I look forward to meeting some new families that have joined. So it's very exciting. Thanks, Rochelle. Awesome. Thanks so much, Nicola. So to everyone else across Canada and beyond right now, we're, we're wrapping up World Duchenne Awareness Day and the virtual walk to defeat Duchenne. You've heard from a couple different families across the country in terms of what it means for them to live with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And there is still time to donate towards their participation in the walk. Just go to walktodefeatduchenne.com. Uh, so far today, you know, the, it's still going up, but there's about $90,000 raised throughout the walk today. So uh, on behalf of Jess's journey, on behalf of Nicola uh, okay. and myself, I just want to say thank you everyone across Canada and the U.S. and Australia and everyone across the world who is supporting the Walk to Defeat Duchenne today, uh, helping us to raise over $90,000 so far for Duchenne research. There is still time to donate. Our closing ceremonies are going to happen in two hours. Thank you. Yes, you got the shirt on. Yeah, the closing ceremonies happen in about two hours at seven o'clock uh, Eastern time. And so we look forward to all of our walkers and supporters and donors for joining us online at seven o'clock on Zoom. Uh, the link is in your email. And, uh, and again, to those that are following us on Facebook right now, not too late to donate in support of these amazing families and these amazing participants across the country looking to find a cure. Uh, so again, walk to defeat Duchenne.com. It's not too late to donate. All right, Nicola, I will see you soon at seven o'clock. Sounds good. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.